Hey guys, what's going on? Today I thought we'd do things a little bit different. So I'm slightly worried this isn't even gonna make it to the world of YouTube. My microphone died, so I'm using the microphone in the camera. I don't even remember what that sounds like. It's very humid today as well, so I have my air conditioners on, which I'm sure you could hear, but let's just give it a go, shall we? So let's adjust the first thing. I got a major, major haircut. My friend Julia does my hair, which is nice because I can feel comfortable getting it done during a time like this. So she is in Crown Point, Indiana. If you are in Illinois or Indiana or Michigan or wherever, she is awesome. I'm going to put in the before and after of my hair because I film makeup tutorials and you guys are so close to my face usually and I have my hair back you probably had no idea how awful it was but oh my gosh was it awful I feel so much better now it's crazy what a difference getting your hair done can do to like your mental state so very very happy about my hair so Julia is the best thank you so much Julia I'll leave her information below again if you're in the area and want to get your hair done by her but I thought today to kind of ease my way into vlogging you guys I don't even know if I'd call this vlogging I am using my regular camera so I don't have my hands on the camera. You know how people usually hold it like that? This camera is way too heavy for that, so I'm not doing that, but I thought I'd kind of set you up and walk you through what's on my table. All right, so I'm just gonna kind of grab through this, and I might do some like cut-ins to me trying this stuff on. A lot of this is clothing related. I don't know what came over me, but I was just on like a let me buy all the clothes. I still am on that kick. I can possibly buy. You guys should see what's in my Nordstrom cart. If you guys want me to do a video on my Nordstrom wish list for the Nordstrom sale, let me know. I usually go kind of ham on that sale. Before I go down that rabbit hole, let's go ahead and get started here. By the way, George is three years old. I can't believe it. If you guys follow me on Instagram, if you don't, I'll leave my handle down here so you guys can follow me. I've been trying to interact with you guys on a day-to-day -day basis there, which has been so fun and I baked these cupcakes for his birthday. I'll leave the recipe down below or on the screen and I'll put in a video of how fun those were to make and they're so easy. If you guys have little fur friends, I don't think a cat would eat them. Just I know my cats wouldn't eat them. It would probably be only if you had a dog, but he loved them. It was so fun to make. So anyway, I'm again going down that rabbit hole, but let's get started here. So the first thing I have are these Superga, I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, they're platform like white tennis shoes, right? Super, super cute. I actually have these already. I don't think I've ever posted a picture on my Instagram. I try to keep my Instagram makeup related, but I'm feeling like I need all kinds of changes in my life. So we might be changing that, but these are a size six and a half and I have a size seven and I'm usually around a six and a half. So I don't even know why I got the seven before, but for some reason these fit my feet better, but they won't stay on my feet because they're so heavy. So I'm going to end up returning these, but I really do like my size sevens. I also have wide feet, super wide feet. So maybe that's why, but these are really cute and I think they're on sale still. I think I, when I was on adding things to my wish list, I saw these. So if you guys are interested in these shoes, highly recommend just, you might want to go in if you can and kind of like try on some sizes and walk around for a second and see how you feel. But I really like these shoes and they just kind of add class or style, I guess, not class. That is not the right word. They add style to any outfit you have. I love wearing these with like skirts and a t-shirt. I think it's the cutest thing ever. Okay, next up, I actually wore this yesterday. Not the yellow one, but the pink one. This is from Express and it's just kind of like a chevron type of skirt situation. It's a little bit, it, it go, hits like right above my ankles, I'd say. So again, this with like those Superga shoes. I think it's so cute with the t-shirt, even like this, just a plain black tee. I really like these. I'll link them down below. I got a size extra small in the pink and a small in the yellow and the small is too big for the yellow. So I need to, if I can return this, return this. Express returns like during this like COVID thing 
was weird. I remember buying something a couple months ago, but I love the color of the yellow. So if I can't return this, maybe I'll just take it to like, you know, a cleaners to kind of see if they can make it fit a little bit better because it's okay down the body it's just tight on the waist but yeah I think these are really really cute and I think you'd really like them it's an easy way to kind of dress up a little bit without having to dress up that much if you want to wear like a t-shirt and tennis shoes with it like I do that's much more my style on a day-to-day -day basis don't get me wrong I love to like dress up and have fun when I have an event but on a day-to-day -day basis, I kind of like a t-shirt and skirt and tennis shoe situation, especially lately. I think the rest of the stuff here I haven't opened yet, I think. Yeah, so a lot of this stuff is going to be like a surprise because I've been waiting to film this video because I want to get more into vlogging. I love vlogs lately, okay? Like, I'm obsessed with watching people who live off-grid and have like tiny houses on wheels. Oh my gosh, like Eamon and Beck, I love them. I love Elsa and Baron, that's like all I watch lately. So are you guys like that? Do you like getting kind of a peek into everybody's life? That's what I love doing. I was just talking to Julia about this yesterday. We're so obsessed with that and I feel like that's the type of stuff that I like to do. I just like to share with you guys like what's good, what I'm trying, just kind of share whatever I know. I still love doing tutorials and everything like that, but I'm just really into vlogs so I wanna try it. So anyway, only a couple of makeup-ish per, per purchases yes there we go um, first of all I got this physicians formula organic wear sculpting bronzer by the way yes I know my fingers are a hot mess I've chipped three of my no chips and then this one's chipping as well I've got to get these done but just on the list of things to do but anyway I got this because I want the Kylie bronzer sticks but I cannot pull the trigger because the bronzer stick itself is like 16 bucks and then shipping is like nine dollars and i'm like i gotta wait until i want something else to purchase that that's shipping is just ridiculously expensive so anyway i saw that physician's formula had one and i don't like it it's too dry i made it work that's the bronzer i have on today by rubbing it with a sigma blush brush and then just kind of applying it that way but I really like to kind of dot on cream products and have it be very like emollient so it kind of blends into the skin thinking like Chanel, Soleil de Tan, De Bronze, whatever the heck that is that they discontinued or reformulated which is just so upsetting because I love that stuff so much and now they got, I don't know why they would do that. That was such a cult favorite. But anyway, I've been trying to find kind of a replacement for that and this is not it. Don't recommend, do not get it, not worth it. And that was like 12 bucks. Physician's formula can be kind of expensive, so don't recommend that. I also got the Bondi Sands Arrow One Hour Express. That's what I have on right now. I really like this stuff because it doesn't overly tan you. You guys know I am a pale queen. I do not ever sit in the sun. I always wear SPF. I just avoid the sun at all costs if I can. So I rely on self tanner and this one is really, really nice. I feel like it's hydrating when I put it on and I love that you can wash it off after one hour if you want a light tan, leave it on for three hours if you want the deepest. I leave it on for three hours and I feel like this fades really nice on me. So I got this from Walgreens. I think it's like 30 bucks and then I got their mitt with it as well. That's in the wash right now. Otherwise I'd show you their mitts are like five bucks and they're my absolute favorite. So highly recommend that. And then I also purchased the CeraVe Hydrating Sunscreen SPF 30 with sheer tints. I have not tried this yet as I throw it on the ground. I've not tried this yet because I wanted to kind of try it with you guys. Oh great, it looks like this has been opened. Fantastic. I hate when people do that at the drugstore. Like don't try things, but whatever. I'm just gonna rub it on the back of my hand for you guys to show you what this looks like. I have had a hard time finding a tinted sunscreen that I like, but you guys know how much I love CeraVe, so that's what it looks like. It has a little bit of pigment to it, and that is very, very glowy. Can you see? I'm going to be interested in trying this. I've been wearing that Biore UV whatever. I'll list it down below, and I've really liked that because, again, that has like no 
tint to it, like white tint to it i i do not like that white tint situation so i've been enjoying that before makeup and it gives me a nice glow but yeah i'd be curious to see how this will sit on my skin so i will let you guys know about this if i keep it because it's been opened which i don't like Can you say hi to everybody i look like a little stuffed animal right now i said this in the last video but i love when his hair is this length he looks like a stuffed animal oh i love it but in no time he's gonna like fluff out into like huge 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 and then we'll have to get him groomed again it's gonna be a long video you guys i have so much stuff oh my gosh okay so here we go first things first express i placed an order from express and for some reason they ship everything in like one package at a time i don't i don't I don't know why they do that. I think it's so freaking weird, but here's the first thing. They had like a major sale last, not this past Friday, but the Friday before that, like a 50% off and then like 60% off clear. I don't know. It was a great sale. So I picked up some stuff that I think I'll love for winter. First things first is this ribbed cardigan well it's called a duster because it goes down really low i'm not gonna be able to show you on camera but i can show you the color it is so pretty it feels really expensive it's belted i love how this looks i think i'm gonna live in this for winter i'm just slightly worried it's gonna snag easy because you guys can see that kind of fabric and if you have fur children you guys know the struggle with that in fact i've already snag the pink skirt from express which is unfortunate but i'm trying to not focus on that so anyway i really like this thing again i'll pr try to put in a cutout i actually got it in two more colors i got the cream color and the black color i got this in a size small it is slightly big um so i got i think the cream or the black in an extra small so we'll see i can make it work no matter what it doesn't have a price on it but um, yeah, it was on major sale and I really, really like it. I hope they still have it by the time I post this. If not, Nordstrom and the Nordstrom sale, they're going to be having like a ton of dusters and cardigans and all that fall stuff. So super, super excited about that. And let's open up the next package together. I wish Express would just ship everything in one, but you know. It is what it is. Oh, this is what I was most excited for. Okay. This is a little dress. The metallic floral flutter sleeve midi dress. I'm very into midi things lately. I got a size small. Express like doesn't put the prices on their uh, tags for some weird, or their receipts, not tags. It's also not on the tag, ironically, but this looks so pretty. And again, I think you could dress it up or you could dress it down see does this have the price on it yeah $88 but it was on like major sale I'm pretty sure I got this for like $40 but how cute is this it's tight at the waist which is always flattering I'll probably do a cutout of this so you guys can see what it looks like but yeah I love it I think it's so pretty and I love a midi style the only thing is I am five two and three fourths and i get a little bit nervous when i get midi dresses that they're gonna be like maxi dresses on me but hopefully we can make that work what is this what is this i don't like how this feels. i mean i kind of like how it feels but i feel like after a couple washes this is not gonna be very nice but i think this is just an oversized tunic size small price isn't on there of course but you know what with some leggings in the winter and some like knee boots i think this could be a really really cute outfit the small looks huge so it's definitely oversized but i don't know i pictured this being a little bit softer than it actually feels it almost feels like felt so i don't know i'm gonna be, have to be careful washing that but again that was like 15 dollars, something ridiculously cheap and in the like fall winter time you can't really go wrong with stuff like that. <gasps> I love this. Okay, this is from Express. I have this in a leopard version, and they are so comfortable. It's just like their satin midi dress or skirts. This was not on sale, but I wanted it because I love the leopard one. This is $60, but it's just a classic 
midi skirt it's so comfortable again you could dress this up if you wanted to with like a bodysuit or something like that or you could dress it down with a t-shirt which you guys know that's what i'm gonna do i love it so much these are so cozy i highly recommend picking one of these up you can just do so much with it and usually express has some kind of sale going on so you guys can kind of get like 15 dollars off or 20 or 10 or something like that so highly highly recommend that i love it i am surrounded by packages right now which is so not like me oh my gosh i don't know what got into me okay so i have i actually have these on right now these are just uh nike tube socks basically they're called the nike everyday plus cotton cushion crew again i have one on uh but it comes in a pack of three this was 18 dollars from urban outfitters and it was really, really hard to find these for some weird reason in a size that would fit me. They're unisex. This is men's size 6 to 8, women's 6 to 10, which is a huge range. But I got these because I want to wear them with sandals. I know that sounds so weird and I know some of you might think that's awful. I actually put a poll on my Instagram, which let's see what you guys are saying right now. Okay, so we had 78 votes for this is taking dad fashion too far and 41 votes for uh, it's not taking dad fashion too far. So let's see if you guys can see. Ah, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> and I love it, you guys. I think it's so cozy and cute and I like it. So that's what I got that for and I also got it for like boots in the winter time. So if I don't wear them that often with sandals, I'll definitely wear it in the winter. And honestly, I can't remember what else I ordered from them. And this is like a cut version, which we're not going to do. So let me just open this real quick. Oh, crew tee. Okay. This is just a boyfriend like crew neck, which I love. Oh my gosh. This is so soft. Holy cow. I need more of these. Wow. Okay. I got a size small. This is just like a boyfriend tee, which again, like I said, I wear these all the time with just like jeans or sweats or skirts, anything. I need to pick up like 18 more of these in like every color because this is so stinking soft. Okay. Very, very excited for this. Okay, so that is it for all of the clothing items I ordered. Um, I cannot believe I got that much stuff. That is crazy for me. But I do have one package from Alter Ego. Oh, they're so sweet. Hi, Brittany. It's time to hunt with our new Artemis eyeshadow palette. I can't wait to see you play with everything. They are so cute. I love Alter Ego. I think they're the first brand that put me on like their PR list, which is awesome. And if you guys don't know what they do, they do high-end palettes a lot of times but they also come out with their own which I think this palette is and it looks like they've come out with lashes too that is so exciting oh my gosh okay look at these lashes that is one style that's another style wow really these oh my goodness Hopefully that's focusing on that. We'll have to see when I'm editing, but okay, here is the Artemis palette. This is a lot bigger than their normal palette size. This is 28 colors. They feel so luxurious, you guys. Okay, look at that. How beautiful is that packaging? Can you guys see? And it feels so good. It feels like a high-end palette and they're affordable, which is awesome. So this is beautiful. This is perfect for fall look at all those colors holy cow as you could see it has a mirror in there i cannot wait to dive into this palette Ugh, this is right up my alley totally totally up my alley i cannot wait thank you so much alter ego i do have a coupon code with them as well i don't make any commission off of it it's not an affiliate code it's just a coupon code and i'm pretty sure it's just I'll leave it on the screen. I think it's Brittany or Brittany 10, one of the two. I can't remember, but I'll leave it on the screen for you guys. But yeah, this is awesome. Check out their new lashes. Check out their palettes. I stand behind every single one of their palettes. They're all awesome. I love their eyeshadow primer and I love their makeup brushes so much. Just all around great affordable brand. And I think that is it. Yeah, I'm sure this is going to be a video that's long as hell because of how much stuff I got. But this was fun. I like this. See, 
I really, really have been enjoying just casual videos like this. I think it's so fun. I'm going to take a sip of coffee since we're being casual right now. It's another thing. I started putting collagen in my coffee and I feel like I feel a bit of a difference in my hair and my nails. I've been doing that for a couple of weeks now and I feel like I'm starting to see the effects of it. So I need to drink this. But yeah, like I was saying, I really enjoy these casual videos like this. I enjoy watching them. And this was so much less stressful to film than like a makeup video. I don't know what it is, but I've kind of been a little bit frustrated with makeup videos lately. I know what it is, okay? I know what it is. I got Botox and typically I tell them to be very, very reserved, but it had been a while and I had like all kinds of wrinkles. I was like, all bets are off, inject me and it's too heavy. I, I cannot, like, that's as much as I can raise my brows, and when I do eyeshadow tutorials, I need to raise my brows to be able to see. I can barely raise my brow to, like, put eyeshadow in there, so anything not eyeshadow related, I'm okay with, but when it comes to eyeshadow, because I got way too much Botox this time, it's not too much where I look weird. Like, I like the look of this, if I didn't do makeup tutorials on here, it would be a different story. I would be more doing this all the time, but since I try to help you guys with hooded eyes and placement and stuff like that, I need to be able to have some movement in my forehead and I don't have it right now, which is why I'm kind of not doing that. But let me know what you guys think about doing vlogs every so often. Again, when I was doing those dog biscuits, I, or they're not biscuits, they're cupcakes, I was thinking I should be filming this. This would be fun and like, day in the life, what I eat in a day, and stuff like that. Just, you know, like a day in the life of someone who works in a very corporate environment and what that's like compared to doing something like YouTube, anything like that. I just want to have more freedom, I guess, with this. I, I don't want to be boxed in to only doing, like, makeup videos. You know what I mean? So that is it for this one you guys i hope you enjoyed it let me know if you want me to do the nordstrom video i think that would be super fun and let me know what you guys think of this style video i'm having fun with it and i hope you guys are too i think george is having a good time as well so thanks so much for watching if you're interested in seeing any more videos from me please subscribe it means the world to me and i hope to see you in the next one bye bye i just stood up and looked at myself like this is literally my uniform, what I wear every day. Very, very oversized sweatpants, a t-shirt, kind of tucked in. Usually I don't have that thing hanging out, but you know what? It is what it is. This is my go-to style and what I love to wear. I just love to be comfortable. So if you're ever wondering when I do my makeup videos, this is usually what it looks like. <laughs> wow, buddy. You have a very hard life. Hi, Monk. Mm -hmm.